Here we are with Ross Mir. Ross Mir, thank you so much for helping make something so wonderful happen. <laughs> You're welcome. Can you tell us a little bit about who you are, uh, what you do, what you're about, and then the inspiration behind this event here? Gosh, um, sure. So that was a hard question for me to answer the who I am. Um, the one word that best describes me is eclectic. I've lived all over the world. I've worked in many different spaces from global health to finance to you know, business, nonprofits, you, you name it. And I love... Of all the places I've lived, I love the Pacific Northwest, I love Seattle and Washington State because there is something happening here that I haven't seen anywhere else that I've lived. There is so much innovation, there's so much talent, there's a lot of entrepreneurship, uh, up and coming entrepreneurs, there are people that care about social issues, social justice, environmental issues, building a sustainable and better world for everybody, um, including kind of economic development and sharing in that mutual prosperity. And, and so. I see here potential that I haven't seen anywhere else, and my commitment to this area is to help take it to the next level, bring people from different sectors and silos together so that they can create even more innovations, they can create a model of sustainable prosperity that potentially could inspire and inform other parts of the world. And so I got involved in all of this because this strikes me as one way to help take what's happening in Washington State to the next level, to help it become the innovation state. And I don't mean that in a traditional economy sense, I mean in terms of a world that works for everyone and is sustainable and viable. And so this was an opportunity to bring people together to launch something that has that potential, that could um, inspire, connect, uh, catalyze, and help celebrate what already exists here. So uh, I know that's a lot of stuff, <laughs> but there you go. That's that's the why I think for me. What has been your highlight for tonight? Oh my goodness! Um, <laughs> what's been the highlight for tonight? Oh, so many things. I mean, I think the biggest thing, you know, as the organizer behind uh, this this launch party. And I say that as sort of, you know, I'm the lead organizer in many ways, but really there's a huge host of people involved. I mean, there's the Next 50 team, the co-chairs in particular, there's the Startup Washington leaders, and there's been this incredible array of volunteers. We've had a ton of BGI students helping out. Um, we've had, you know, people from different walks of life that have made this happen. It's been a huge team effort. And for me, the highlight in a way is even just pulling this event off as kind of an example of what the state can do, right? This was a voluntary event. And if this is what we can do as a voluntary event with this level of talent, imagine what we can do um, beyond this in future years and really put Seattle and Washington State on the map in a way that it isn't currently because it's so understated. And for me, this feels like the beginning of something. So the fact that we've seen this come together, frankly, in six weeks, that's, that's all, all the planning time we had. To me, that is just such a sign of the possibility and the potential here, and that is the highlight. That tells me, even if I go leave and work in other parts of the world, we've started something that, that the talent here and the passion here will take to the next level. All right, well, thank you very much. Is there anything that I didn't ask you or anything you'd like to share? That, that I didn't provoke yet. Anything that I would like to share that you didn't ask me? Um, probably 101 things. Um, gosh. Is there anything? You know, let me say a couple of things. Um, Startup Washington, it's a curious thing. It's a movement, right? It's very loose. It's, it's not an organization that anyone is waiting for permission to engage with. It's an opportunity, and so what I hope and encourage people to do is to, to get engaged, to see themselves as part of this innovation ecosystem, to see their own potential and to step up and make things happen. And, and not just for their businesses, but for the broader community. Connect with people that they don't know. Um, ask, you know, what, what can they do? Look and see where there are gaps. Where, what do we need to do to move the state forward? And step in, dive in, because from my experience, just over the last six weeks of organizing this party, when you have an inspiring vision and you want to make a difference, any number of people will fall in line to kind of, you know, help you out, will get on board. They want to be a part of something. There's, there's that pent up, there's that, you know, people are waiting for something. So, I don't know, I think I'm being very eloquent as I say this, but essentially it's kind of a 
the, the one thing I would say is don't wait for permission. Don't wait to be asked. If you see a gap, go, go step in and try and fill that gap because you are going to be blown away by the people that come to help you out and fill it with you. Thank you very much. You're welcome.